Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I replaced the shower pan in the bathroom that was renovated just three months ago. In order to replace the leaking shower pan, the shower glass enclosure must be removed. Uh, in this case, customer used the company that previously installed the glass. Overall, shower doesn't look that bad, except the white gaps between the shower floor and walls, and every wall was installed with a slightly different pattern. Uh, one thing that worries me the most is that the entire bathroom was renovated in just 10 days. Yeah, usually contractors rush to the projects like that and they don't use the waterproofing membrane or sometimes don't even use the rubber liners. So you never know what you're dealing with till you uh, take it apart and start from scratch. Uh, in order to replace the shower pan, usually I remove one row of tiles. <coughs> In this case, I'm going to replace the uh, corner shelf, so I'm going to remove two rows, and also we're going to reorder new curb and the newel piece, because like they don't match basically, so we're just going to get everything to match. Alright, when I remove the tiles and the curb, I could find what was the issue. There haven't been any waterproofing on the curb, like they waterproofed the inside of it, but they haven't waterproofed the top of, top of the curb. And then the quartz piece was cut to the tile instead of going underneath the tile. And this is a very common problem that caused the failure. But the major thing, there was nothing in between the wall and, and the curbs. There were just kind of big gaps on both sides of it. So water was just going right through it. And this shows you how one little step fell the entire project. On this shower, contractors used the curdy foam shower pan. And that explains there were the flat spots on this on both sides of it because that pan comes in a 48 by 48 inch size but the shower was a little bit bigger so we tried to extend it but they haven't sloped it right so that explained there were like flat spots on both sides of it all right that was the first time that I ever had to replace the curvy shower base and i'm telling you it doesn't come out very easy the jackhammer doesn't do any good so you just have to remove it piece by piece Alright, once the shower pan was gone, I had to replace the shower drain as well because the uh, Curdy system uses different types of drain. So I have to use a different drain and I have to replace the wood around it because the opening is a lot bigger. So it just takes to uh, cut out a small piece of plywood and replace it with a new one. Then the center the drain again and then cut out the opening for the new drain. Alright, once the new piece of plywood and the new drain is installed, uh, then I build the pre-slope. Basically what I will do, I will first I use a thin coat of thin set and just spread it on the entire shower base. Then I use the dry pack concrete to uh, build the pre-slope out of it. And then I use one big piece of fiberglass mesh to cover the entire area and coat it again with the thin set to give it extra strength and waterproof it with the two coats of waterproofing membrane to protect it in case a uh, rubber pen failure in the future. All right, once the pre slope is nice and dry, uh, then I install rubber pen liner. And that's basically pretty thick rubber that goes about five to 10 inches on the walls and then kind of wraps around the whole shower area and it goes over the curb. Now I'm going to pour some water in the shower so you can see how uh, pre slope works. Basically what a pre slope does, it levels the entire base of the shower area and then it slopes it not nicely towards the drain so the water doesn't sit in any corners. A lot of houses are uneven so that prevents more water accumulating in, in the shower pan and it prevents any bad smells in the future. Alright, the next step is to install the cement boards. Uh, in this case we're using uh, fiber rock because that was the original board used there. Uh, basically what you have to do, you have to install it above the shower pan so that it doesn't have direct contact with the shower pan and you waterproof it. Alright, after three coats of waterproofing membrane, next step is to build the shower pan. In this case, they use the two 2x4s two for the shower curb and we already have a pre slope underneath so that shower pan is going to be kind of thin. So in cases like this, I use the thin set on top of the rubber pen liner as the extra strength 
and then I build a shower pan on top of it with a dry pack concrete and I use uh, one big piece of fiberglass mesh on top of the entire shower pan again and a coat of thin set just to give it the extra strength. All right, the shower pan is dry and the walls are nicely waterproof. So I'm going to install the shower floor tiles first. Basically, uh, shower drain is nicely centered so you can start from the center of your shower. So that way you get nice and even cuts on both sides of it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, in this case it worked out pretty good. All right, the most important thing about tiling your shower is to install your shower floor tile first and get out them before installing the wall tiles. All right, once the shower floor is dry, uh, next step is to install the quartz curb and the new wall piece. And this is one of the hardest and most important steps when you're replacing your shower pan, because you have to reinstall your curb and your new wall exactly the way it was, to the same height, to the same level, because otherwise the shower doors will not fit. And now I'm going to install the wall tiles. When you install the wall tiles, you're always gonna make sure that your tiles wraps around the new wall and the curb, because that protects it from any water getting underneath. Uh, when you're cutting the wall tiles to the floor, you don't wanna have a more than a 1 16th of an inch gap, because it just doesn't look good, but you still wanna have a little bit of gap there, because the grout has to sit in there. After installing all surrounding tile and a new corner shelf, the last step is to grout it. Alright, the shower door company just finished installing the shower doors. Everything fits the way it did before. Alright, the new shower floor is nicely sloped instead of having the flat spots on both sides of it. Then we got the corner shelf and the curb and the new wall piece all matching together instead of having some uh, different shades and everything is fully functional and as a reminder the entire bathroom took 10 days to remodel and it took seven days to replace that shower pan so keep that in mind uh, thanks for watching guys I really hope you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below and subscribe if you want more information about my services please visit my website atlantasbathroomremodeling.com if your shower pan is leaking or you just want a brand new shower or entire bathroom, call 